Hello, hello, my creative friends. Thanks for joining me for the letter T, which is the last letter of my art project. Um, you can see all the other videos for the letter A and R earlier, so make sure to check them out. And I'm going to do something similar that I've done before, which is applying a few different colors um, on the background here. So I'm starting with a bit of light turquoise, and then I'm going to add some hot pink just to contrast that light blue. And then I'll move on to this beautiful cobalt blue hue uh, that I absolutely love. I don't know why I didn't add it to my collection earlier because it is just so rich and beautiful. So I'm just doing a bit of a sort of a dry brush technique here just to um, avoid having the colors looking too flat. And just filling in basically the whole letter including the sides. So nothing too complicated as you can see. Now that my letter is dry, I'm going to use this beautiful mask. Um, as usual, I've got all the supplies listed on my blog post, so you'll know exactly what I'm using. I just don't have time to explain or remember uh, which brand and which stencil or color that I use, so that's why I put it all on the blog post. So this gorgeous uh, mask is just going to create a lot of texture. There's so many details in um, on it that you can create many different effects with it. So I just I just really like it and it's it's just stunning. Anyway, I'm babbling on, <laughs> but it just looks beautiful. I love it. It's brand new and uh, I just added it to my store. So make sure to check it out if you'd like one for yourself. it's time to add a little texture and I'm using one of my handmade stamps. Um, I do have a workshop if you'd like to learn how to carve stamps, make sure to check my website. And I'm using some gold ink here because I want the texture to be there but subtle, you know, a little bit of a shine so it looks pretty. I'm now going to bring all my previous elements together by applying a little bit of light green paint just to sort of, you know, add a little something and it just covers some areas and it basically joins all the elements together. It's a very simple technique that I use a lot of the time. Um, sometimes just one color, sometimes two, sometimes three, it just depends. But here I'm starting with a bit of light green. I'm now going to use another stem to add even more texture and I've chosen this one because it's got some um, sort of like a very very fine writing which you can't actually read but it helps sort of giving the impression that there's something written on there so it looks interesting but at the same time it doesn't distract from anything else so that's why I've chosen this design. I'm going to use my dot fade stencil just to add a little bit of a pop of color but simply with some white gesso just so you know it pops and it's quite opaque at the same time and I've used one uh, well I've used this technique on one of the other letters so it will sort of tie in with the others 
It's a little bit awkward sometimes to do something that's a 3D object like this, but um, it is fun at the same time, even though it's a little bit hard to reach and I get a bit of a smudge here and there. And finally, and again to tie in with all my elements before and also with the other two letters in my project, I'm adding a bit of iridescent gold on the edges and just a little bit all over the letter basically just to add a bit of shine and just something a little bit special. And then I'm going to use my Dalusion paint, the black one, because it's very opaque, to paint the bottom and the back and that will complete my project. Yes! And here we go, my letter is completely dry front and back. I'm going to show you a close up so you can see all the beautiful texture. It's very simple, but there's a lot of interest in colors and um, I really like it. So I'm really excited how all these letters have turned out. Make sure to check the blog post so you can see the three letters together. I'm going to use them to decorate my studio and mixed media shop. So I think it's going to look really pretty. And if you've enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe if you're watching on YouTube. And uh, make sure that you subscribe to my newsletter as well so we can stay in touch. Bye for now.